Welcome to another video from Excel and CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, we are going to discuss about three topics related to automation in Excel. First one is the macro to select the first or last sheet of a workbook. Then how to convert these macros into an Excel adding. Then how to add these macros to the Excel ribbon so that we can access these macros every time when we open an Excel workbook. So the first part, the macro to select the first or last sheet of a workbook. To create the macro, go to the developer tab, click on visual basic. To insert a new module, right click, insert, module, we'll name this macro as first sheet, enter, sheets, open parenthesis, one, close parenthesis, dot, select, Close the Visual Basic Editor, click on Macros, see the macro we just created that is first sheet is listed here and when I execute this macro, the first worksheet of this workbook will be selected. Click on Run, see the first worksheet of this workbook is selected. Once again, Macros, first sheet, Run. Again, the first worksheet is selected. Now the macro to select the last worksheet, Visual Basic. We'll name the macro as last sheet. Sheets, open parenthesis, sheets, dot count, close parenthesis, dot select. Close the Visual Basic Editor, Macros. Now when I execute this macro, the last worksheet of this workbook will be selected. Last sheet, Run. See the last worksheet of this workbook is selected. Once again, Macros, Last sheet, Run. Again the last sheet is selected. Now the second part, converting these macros into an Excel adding. For that, close the Visual Basic Editor, go to the File tab, Save As, More Options, change the file type to Excel adding. See the default folder for Excel addings is automatically selected. We'll rename this add-in as Gem2 first or last sheet. This is just another name. You can use whatever name you like. Click on save. So the macros are converted into an Excel add-in. To load this add-in into Excel, in the developer tab, click on Excel add-ins. See the add-in we just created that is gem to first or last sheet is listed here. Let me show you another way to activate this dialog box. Go to the file tab, options, add-ins, manage excel add-ins, go, again the dialog box for add-ins is activated. Now to load this add-in, mark this checkbox, ok. The selected add-in is loaded into excel and will be available to every open workbook. To see that, click on visual basic. And here is the add-in we created, gem to first or last sheet. Close the Visual Basic Editor. We'll close this workbook. Don't save. Let me open another workbook, Sales Data. Click on Developer tab, Visual Basic. See the same add-in that is gem to first or last sheet is available here. Now the third part, adding these macros into the Excel ribbon. Close the Visual Basic Editor. Right click on any of these tabs. Customize the ribbon. Here is the Developer tab. To add a new group to the Developer tab, click on New Group. We'll rename this group as Select Sheet. Select Sheet. OK. Click on this down arrow, select macros, 
See, there are two macros available here, which is a part of the add-in called jump to first row last sheet. Now to add these macros into the newly created group, select the first macro, add, then the second macro, add. Now to rename these macros and to change the icons, rename, last sheet, we'll assign this icon for the last sheet, okay, first sheet, rename, first sheet, okay okay see the developer tab has a new group called select sheet with two icons for first sheet and last sheet and when i click on this button called first sheet the first worksheet of this workbook will be selected first sheet see the first worksheet of this workbook is selected click on last sheet the last worksheet of this workbook is selected once again, first sheet, last sheet. So that was about creating a macro to select the first or last sheet of a workbook, then converting it into an Excel adding, then adding that macros into the Excel ribbon. Hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.